Hi, this is Rian from the Must Be Noob. Welcome to today's video tutorial on managing user accounts in Windows Server 2025 Active Directory. Whether you are a system administrator or are just getting started, knowing how to manage user accounts is a key skill. In this video, we will cover essential tasks like enabling and disabling user accounts, resetting passwords, and moving user accounts to different OUs. Without wasting time, let's get started. First, let's open the Active Directory Users and Computers console where most of the user account management happens. From the Server Manager, click on Tools and then select Active Directory Users and Computers. This is where you'll manage users, groups and OUs. Let's start with enabling and disabling user accounts. Sometimes a user might need temporary access disabled without deleting their account. Here's how you can do that. In the Active Directory Users and Computers window, navigate to the OU where the user account is located. Right click on the account you want to disable, for example, John Doe and select Properties. In the Properties window, go to the Account tab. Here you will see the option Account is Disabled. Check the box to disable the account. Click Apply and click OK. The user account is now disabled. Now the user will not be able to sign in using this user account. To enable the account again, simply uncheck the account is disabled checkbox and click OK. Let's do that. Right click on John Doe, go to the properties, go to account tab, scroll down, clear the checkbox, account is disabled. Click on Apply and OK and now your user account is enabled. This is how we can enable and disable user account using Active Directory Users and Computers. That is another method to disable the user account. Right click on the account you want to disable and select Disable Account option to disable the selected user account. You will get a pop-up message that object John Doe has been disabled. Click OK. Let me refresh. On user account, we can see a down arrow icon that indicates that the user account is currently disabled. To enable the account again, right click on the user account and select enable account option. You will get a confirmation message, object John Doe has been enabled. Click OK. We can verify that the user account has been enabled successfully. Next, let's look at how to reset a user's password. This is useful when a user forgets their password or needs to have it changed for security reasons. Find the user account, for example, Jundo, right click on user account and select reset password. In the pop-up window, enter the new password. You can also choose to require the user to change their password at the next login by checking the box. Once done, click OK. The password for Jundo has been changed. Click OK. The user will now have a new password and will need to reset it upon the next login if you choose that option. Sometimes users need to be moved between departments or OUs. Here's how to move a user account from one OU to another. First, look at the user account you want to move. For example, let's move John Doe from the sales department OU to the HR team OU. Right click on the user account and select move. In the pop-up window, select the new OU where you want to move the user, for example, HR team and click OK. Now the user account has been moved to the new OU. Let's confirm it. Click on HR team and here we can see the user account of John Doe. That indicate the user account has been moved successfully to the new OU. This is useful when a user's role changes or when you need to reorganize your Active Directory structure. Sometimes users may find their accounts locked due to multiple failed login attempts. This is a security feature called Account Lockout designed to protect your network from unauthorized access. But as an administrator, it is important to know how to quickly unlock these accounts. Let's look at the user account that's locked. Click on Sales Department. Once you have found that right OU, scroll to the list of users to find the locked account. In our example, Sam Neil's user account is currently locked out. To unlock the account, simply right click on the locked user account and select properties. Go to the account tab, look for unlock account. 
Here we can see message this account is currently locked out on this Active Directory domain controller. If you see this message, the account is indeed locked. To unlock the account, simply check the unlock account checkbox. Once you check the box, click apply and then OK to unlock the user account. Now the user account is unlocked successfully. Let's verify that. Again right click on the user account, select properties, go to accounts tab and verify that message is no longer available beside unlock account. This means the user account is currently not locked out. If you need to manage multiple accounts or perform these tasks regularly, consider using PowerShell for batch operations. Finally, it's important to regularly audit user accounts to track any changes or suspicious activity. You can enable auditing through the Group Policy Management Console. From the Group Policy Management tool, configure policies for auditing user logon events, password changes and account lockouts. This helps keep your network secure and allows you to track changes made to user accounts. We plan to address this topic in future videos. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment and subscribe for more tips and tutorials. If you have any questions or need assistance, feel free to leave a comment below. Happy learning.